Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Nupkill coming at you with another Madden video today. So EA released another article talking about some new features for next season's Madden Mobile. As you guys know, I just got back from Orlando. Um, EA Sports invited me to the headquarters there, Tiburon, to go ahead and play test the new Madden Mobile game for the new season, I guess. Um, it looks amazing guys. I know you guys really 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 want some sneak peeks and believe me guys I would tell you guys everything, but I have to keep it on the download right now um, When I was there I got to talk to the devs and everything the developers um, And I asked them if I could possibly get some sneak peeks for you guys and they said yes um, So hopefully I'm emailing them back right now or I have emailed them haven't responded just yet but hopefully um, they will respond very soon and I can get you guys some sneak peeks But it's killing me guys that I can't tell you guys anything. It does suck. I do apologize for that But of course my hands are tied um, But all I can say really is it looks unbelievable guys um, It just looks amazing and you guys I'm so excited for August 19th and you guys should be too because it just looks fantastic uh, But yeah, there is a new article like I said this one's mostly fo uh, focusing on spontaneous challenges um, so really nice this spontaneous challenges it kind of raised my eyebrow when I first read it in the first article I was like what is this all about and everything they kind of described it a little bit better in this article so this first part right here same thing as the set last article we had it wasn't in the first uh, two I believe but it was in the last one um, so I'm just gonna go over this really quickly because I feel like this is really really important so August 19th is the new season guys so BAM August 19th there will be an update in the App Store Google Play Store wherever you guys are playing whatever store it is um, You're gonna update on your your phone your tablet your device I guess so you are gonna update it's a mandatory update You guys have to go ahead and update your game in order to play next season's game and trust me You guys want to do that because it's unbelievable um, But yeah August 19th is the big day August 15th the other day you had to remember for season score is the final day for season score so August uh, 15th Everything's locked in. You have a full bronze, a full bronze team. That's your legacy team, and everything like that. Your season score is locked up, and everything. Um, and August nineteenth, of course, reset. That's the big day. So everything's getting resetted besides your Madden cash balance. So your coins, your item, um, your items in your binders, head-to-head -head ranks, seasons completions, level, and achievements will be reset. Um, I also do want to mention one thing here because they didn't really mention it. And someone in the comments uh, left a comment about it last time, and I went ahead and asked the guys at EA. Sports I guess this is kind of like a thing I think I can say um, but leagues won't get reset in so if you're still in the league so if you guys are in right now I have a league right now it's called Madden experts if you guys are in that right now um, you guys will still be in I guess next season the only thing with the leagues you'll still be in the league but all the fans and all the achievements the ranks will be reset so you'll still have your league which is really nice you don't have to make another one get all your friends to join again um, so the leagues will still be there and then another these other dates are really important as well August 9th uh, auction house will be closed I guess you cannot post on the auction house I guess what they're trying to say here so August 9th you can't post anymore August 12th uh, bidding and buying items from the live auction will be closed so August 9th you're not allowed to post anything but if you did um, on 8th or something like that and you left it for like three days um, 12th is the last last day you guys can go ahead and bid on them or buy them I guess so that would be closed but the players will still be able to claim your items from the auction house of course um, in their inboxes and all that good stuff and in August 16th this is probably one of the biggest dates here beside August 19th because August 16th the Madden mobile servers will be down will be shut down for three days guys so August 16th till the 19th servers will be down for those days you cannot play Madden mobile um, but it'll, you'll still have the app of course but once August 19th happens you'll go ahead and update and the servers are back up but yeah those are really big dates. Let's go ahead and talk about the new spontaneous challenges they're talking about. So yeah, the new season means, means a lot of exciting features, including a revamp look, feel, blah, blah, blah. And it looks amazing, guys, like I said. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about spontaneous challenges. So this is kind of new. I thought it was like you're playing a game and then boom, it pops up and it X's you out of the game or pauses that game. And you go ahead and jump into a spontaneous challenge, which I thought was like, why would I want that? That's going to slow me down even more. Uh, but this is really nice. So... Uh, be on the lookout for new opportunities to uh, earn rewards so you can get extra rewards, I guess. You never know when a spontaneous challenge will pop up. Of course you won't because it's a spontaneous challenge. If you knew when it was going to happen, it wouldn't be like a surprise. It's like a pop quiz. It's like my teacher telling you there's going to be a pop quiz on Tuesday. Um, but if he tells you it's a pop quiz 
it's not a pop quiz because you already know what's going to happen. But yeah, it will pop up in your seasons games, head-to-head league games, and I think live events as well. Um, but they don't mention that there. So seasons, head-to-head, and league are confirmed in this article. All these pictures are work in progress. But as you guys see, this is just a generic picture. Um, but yeah, how they really summed it up here, and I understood it right here in this next paragraph. Uh, there's a chance for a spontaneous challenge to appear during a play call. Um, a special sound uh, will end banner... Uh, alerts the player to provide details so really nice with the special sounds i don't think that's going to be too beneficial because i know a lot of us don't play with the sound on i don't play sound on on any games i play because i always have music in the background watching tv watching a video i'm always doing something in the background while i'm playing the game so i never have the sound on for the game so it's not it's good that they didn't just put in sound they also have the nice big banner that alerts you so i really like that um but then it'll tell you like provide your details such as if you're doing a passing play, I guess it's before the play call. So if you're going to, it pops up before you do the play call um, and you click and it tells you pass for 20 yards. Then you go ahead and try to go for a passing play, of course. Hopefully that is. Um, it's not like you go for a run play and then the boom, it pops up and says, hey, do a pass play. And then there's no audibles in the game. So you're pretty much don't get the reward for the spontaneous challenge. Um, but I think it is before the play call or when you actually click play, um, you actually call it. Like as you guys see, you're already at the line of scrimmage. It would choose a random thing and give you a spontaneous challenge, which is nice. And then you'll get corn reward and I believe XP as well um, there's different levels of course of difficulty easy medium hard and it's you don't have to take up the spontaneous challenge of course so if it pops up and says you know pass 20 yards and get some extra rewards um, you can choose not to do it and say hey I want to pass 19 yards and not get it just for the fun of it right you don't have to go ahead and do the spontaneous challenge it's just like an extra added bonus to get some more coin rewards which is not bad so that's really nice about the spontaneous challenge I felt like they really described this a lot better um, they did mention in the other article like the last article they brought up that scouting 2.0 thing where you can go ahead and look at the matchup um, and I said that kind of sucked because they already talked about it and they didn't explain it even more but this one it did pop up before but they really explained it a little bit better so i understand it more so i think that's better um the next one they also talked about is achievements so everybody loves getting rewards for their effort of course that's why achievements are a huge thing um but yeah there will be new achievements to keep everything a lot better and madden mobile watches over your progress to make sure you be congratulated so with the new season players are able um, to earn achievements in nearly every category of the game so right here i believe these are some new achievements i believe you do get a breadwinner if you earn coins so i think that's already in the game um seriously is a new one and it says score 10,000 points which that is pretty insane but the words kind of sucked only 10k for scoring 10,000 points 10,000 points is a pretty tall tale um but of course these are just achievements i would have liked it if it got us like a, a trophies or something i guess or a player i thought that would have been a little better rewards but of course this is a work in progress we'll see what happens when a game comes out um i don't know about sterling offense and defense if they give you rewards for a silver team i think it was just gold and elite so that may be something new um but really nice they also added new categories for the new achievements such as um live events and sets which are amazing guys because um i do a lot of live events and a lot of sets so getting rewarded on top of those sets and live events will be so nice so that's a new thing um new filter allows players to focus on league achievements as a separate category as well i guess so that is some new achievements guys tell me what you guys our new achievements new features coming to next season's madden mobile tell me what you guys think in the comment section below i would love to hear you guys feedback um but yeah new achievements and they break down spontaneous challenges a little better but yeah that was the new features hopefully i get some emails back very soon um i can tell you guys some sneak peeks hopefully um but yeah i want to thank you guys for watching you guys are going to tune into for everything madden mobile and that's right here on the channel i want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and i'll catch you guys soon peace What's up?